What's up everybody? Welcome back to my Twist Life and TV. I am Poetry. You are here for another recap and review of Blood and Water. This is season two. This is episode three, y'all. We still on episode three. I know it's been a month of Sundays and it actually has been a whole month of Sundays that I have not been on here with the Blood and Water recap and review, but I am still going to finish out this show. Thank goodness it's on Netflix. For those of you who have been binge watched it, I want to thank you guys for not spoiling it for me. Um, and that you came back here to watch this recap and review, um, you know, even though you already have seen the whole dog on thing. Um, this episode is called The Source. I had a lot going on between the time that I watched this, which was back in November. So I got a few notes here. I hope I can remember everything. Um, November 6th, that's the day I watched this after I moved. So I couldn't look this. Is, I'm in apartment number two since I moved October 31st. I moved twice since October 31st. I moved October 31st and then I moved to an apartment and moved here. Okay, whatever. So, we're gonna go back to the beginning of the third episode and we're gonna catch up on this show, right? Blood and water. Y'all know I love it. I love it. So, we open up with Pauline. She is staring at $35,000 check stub made payable to who? To her doggone daddy, Julius. Yes, it is. And the only conclusion that she can come up with, Amy, is that her daddy did sell her sister. I've been, you know, teetering back and forth whether or not Julius was really involved from the beginning. I always thought something was wrong with Julius from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? But why would be the question? We get those questions answered just a tad bit in this episode, right? Zama's like, look her, just ask Mr. Malapo what happened. You know, KB Daddy. Zama, are you crazy or you crazy, girl? Are you crazy or are you crazy? Because he already know that Pauline been snooping around his doggone house. He just pulled her butt from underneath the doggone car. And now you want to confront him about this? That you actually took something from his house? Girl. Mm-mm. Heck no. No, ma'am, ma'am. That's not what we're going to do. One thing that they can agree on, though, is that Pauline needs to leave Fix alone. Just leave her alone, Okay. At least for now, because I'm like Pauline. That girl is her sister. Okay, somebody been tampering with that DNA test. It's hella shady, and we all know that Janet got something to do with it. Right now, she over in the counseling session with Fix, talking about now that we got Pauline behind us, what we gonna do? Well, she said what you gonna do, but she meant what we gonna do, right? Because Pauline is getting in her way of something. We ain't sure exactly what she getting in her way of, but she getting in her way of something. Well, Fix... She got a text from Pauline asking her to bring that journal. Remember, she's keeping that little book together with all the little newspaper clippings and everything she had found about the case. She wanted her to bring that, that journal over to her. Well, instead of bringing it, Fix decides to rip it apart. <sighs> Snatch all her pictures and photos out of it because it's making her confused. Because deep down, that girl knows she Pauline's sister too. She know it or she knows something that's hella shady with her family and she don't know nothing else, right? So... Cause, she, Cause, she don't even realize. She, well, she realized at this point. She don't even know her own parents. She knows nothing about them. But now, she finna start digging into their background. Mm. Just like Pauline been doing. Okay. She was like wondering how her parents even met. She don't know. Do they even know? You know, is this a cover story for them as well? Well, she did return the rest of the journal to Pauline and told her what we both been thinking. Somebody and Pauline told her what we both been thinking. Somebody messed with those results, girl. I believe that you, my sister. But Fix is like, just stop. I mean, come on now, give it up. Stop saying that shit and stay the hell away from me. Stay away from my family. I don't want to talk to you no more. Be done with it, right? Pauline ain't gonna stop. Y'all already know this. Y'all already know that girl ain't gonna stop. She thumbed through what was left of the journal and got a name of the journalist who claimed that he was the source for. Pulling daddy taking the money for selling the baby. Okay. Oh, I got bit by mosquito today, y'all. Um, so back at the school, Janet confronts Pauline. We hemmed up in the doggone bathroom, right? And uh she's like, you know you still owe me a visit. <laughs> what I owe you a visit for? Okay, what the hell I owe you a visit for? First of all, who are you? I don't even know who you are, ma'am. Why would I owe you a visit, right? She's like, oh, well, I'm the new counselor, and in light of you stalking fix, <laughs> Principal Daniel said that you need to come talk to me too, right? It's a mandatory session. And um, so she's like, okay, fine. Principal Daniels ain't told her a damn thing, you know? So I would be suspicious, because Principal Daniels ain't got no problem saying, Pauline, get in here. 
get in there. You know, she ain't do none of that. Or she would have told, uh, what's the boy name? Wade. You know, since Principal Daniels is Wade's mama. My oh, that mosquito tore me up. I'm trying not to scratch it, y'all. I need to put some oils on me or something. Okay, anyway. Speaking of suspicious. T dub oh my T dub just posted a video. Speaking of suspicious, KB. He now looking at Pauline real strange, like, because Pauline is hanging out with Wade a whole lot more, and it seems like they kind of getting buddy buddy, you know. He really suspicious of what's going on between them. Even Tahira looking at them like, what's really going on? Okay, Wade, you coming with me or not? That's what you're going to do, right? Now, despite how Wade feels about Pauline, their encounters actually have been all about Pauline's secret lately, as of late, right? And she's been keeping out all that from KB. Wade has been trying to encourage her to tell her boyfriend what's going on. But no, Pauline ain't trying to hear that, right? Of course, because Mulapo is involved and Mulapo is KB's daddy. Why would you tell your boyfriend that I think your daddy is the one who sold my, who bought my sister from my daddy? You know, what is that, pillow talk? That ain't pillow talk, right? I am edgy. I'm sorry, head scratch. Okay. Well, Wade is like, uh, hello? Hello, uh... You know, trying to speak to KB. Like, when did he stop speaking? Well, uh, no, KB spoke to him. It was like, hey, what's up, dog? You know what I'm saying? Wade is like, when he start speaking to me? We ain't that me cool. I've been going to school with him since we was, like, in kindergarten. He ain't never spoke to me. And all of a sudden, he's like, hey, dude, hey. You know what I'm saying? KB is like, you know, I just want you to come talk to me about Pauline, right? I know y'all, uh, you know we together, right? Right? And Wade is like, uh, yeah, yeah, everybody know. Everybody know that. He's like, well, okay, but well, she acted funny with me, dog. You know what I'm saying? You notice anything? But he like, uh, nah, nah. He's not going to bet betray uh, Pauline's trust. At least not knowingly, because you know he has before. And he'd be like, oops, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. He's like, nah, she the same old same to me. Which she really is to him, you know? But KB don't believe that. Mm -mm. He don't believe that. Well, Pauline, I need to get something because I'm itching like crazy. <laughs> Pauline decides to go over to the police station and see what she could dig up on the source. Is it a mosquito in her? Is that what's going on? I just came outside with the dog. A mosquito might have rolled in her on my damn head. Hold on, y'all. Give me a break. Look like a dog on crackhead in here swatting myself and stuff. Watch out. That was itching like crazy. I'm still itching. It gotta be good. It gotta be in a few spots. <sighs> okay. Pulling at the police station. Trying to see what she could dig up on the source, right? So it was a retired cop named Koopman that uh, was on the case, right? So the cop at the desk claimed that she don't know who Koopman is. Never heard her name before. Now, if this cop was involved in such a scandal as what happened with Mulapo and Julius, trust me, every cop in that building know who Koopman is, whether he retired or not. They know Koopman, right? So, she told her, go get your mama. You know, bring your mama here. Well, <sighs> Pauline's not going to go get uh, Tandy. She's not going to get her. Um, but she said, you know what? What case we talking about? Maybe I can help you, right? I'm so glad that Pauline did not tell her what the case was about. She's like, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to go get my mama like you said, right? I'm going to go get my mama. But you knew Pauline was not about to go get her mama. Instead, she contacted Zama. Zama. She like Zama. Remember you got that cousin? Or that, is it her cousin? Yeah, you got a cousin. That um that was a cop. Or he used to be working with cops or something like that. And we're going to use him to try to track down Koopman's number. Her perverted ass cousin said he'd do it. But only if she go out with him. Pauline. Now the cousin, 32 motherfucking years old. Pauline ain't number 16, 17. Excuse me, right? The fuck? Okay, Zama's like, now you see why I don't talk to him. And that's why I don't talk to him. I don't ask him no help, no information, because I know he a purr, right? Well, he was going to hit up Koopman himself and try to make the connection for them. But he couldn't do it for about another week or two. So, you know doggone well, Pauline is going to take her butt over to where this man live. Okay. She can't wait that long. She cannot wait that long. Zama had already sent her the address. Now, why would you do a thing like that, Zama? Okay. Well, she gonna go over there. And she gonna drag Wade with her. Trust and believe. Wade is gonna go with her. She claims that this is um, 
her last year at Parkhurst. She's not going to go back to the school. And she really didn't have no reason to stay. You know, her whole point in coming her was to try to figure out if Fix was her sister. But Wade is like, well, what about the case? You know what I'm saying? You had me go here and investigate all this stuff with you. And you just going to drop it just like that? So she's like, yeah. Because this is one dead end after the other. But Joseph Koopman may have answers okay so i need you to roll with me dog so while everybody is setting up for career day um wade and pooling they dip they go find koopman now kb of course he around the school looking for pooling right well kb daddy is looking for kb because he got this dude down there to meet kb to talk about being an entertainment lawyer because he want kb to become a lawyer right kb don't want to become a lawyer kb wants to perform he doesn't want to become an entertainment lawyer. He wants to be the entertainment, right? Well, to make things worse, he just found out that Pulin left the school with Wade. Just found it out, right? Now, you know he think they messing around. So he go to Tahira. That's, that's, that's a messy dude. He gonna go to Tahira and throw some salt in, in Wade game, you know? But she clueless too. Like, what you mean? No. Mm -mm. So she texts him, like, where you at? Where you at? Well, he not going to answer. He ain't going to be able to answer anyway because he was putting his phone in his back pocket and it fell out on the ground. He drops it. Now, Pauline thought these dudes in the neighborhood was following him around, right? And she's like, why is this dude watching us? Why he keep looking at us, right? You better believe they picked their phone up. You better believe they picked their phone up. Well, Pauline and Wade are so damn goofy. They think the dude is trying to get at them. They think the dude is chasing them. So they take off running, right? Oh, boy, take off after them. He running hard in the motherfucker trying to catch his breath running after them. Wade posted up on him like, what, what, what? Bam. What you following us for, right? I was like, look away. Look away. <laughs> he bum rushed her boy. He bum rushed him and laid him out, put him in a fucking choke hold. So I swear, I didn't think Wade had in him. I didn't think Wade had in him. He was like, not today, Satan. Not today. Well, meanwhile, back at the school, KB left with zero. Again, he was supposed to be there to meet his daddy friend, but he left with zero. Zero is the dude that he writing the music with or producing the music with. But now, Janet looking for Pauline. Everybody looking for Pauline. Because, of course, she didn't come to her counseling session. So she bumping to Sam and Fix, and she's like, uh, hey, hey, Sam, you seen Pauline? He's like, hey, Ma. Fix, hey, Ma, excuse me. Weren't you just telling me that you was an open book? And how you telling me that it's your mama? How come I didn't know about that? I guess we all got secrets, right? So, now it's time for Malapo to make his speech. Like I said, he waving the fix and KB ain't around. Now he set up this meeting with KB to meet the friend. And I was like, I guess KB forgot. But no, KB didn't forget. We, KB knew exactly what he was doing. He didn't want to meet the man anyway, right? Malapo, like I said, wants him to be going to law like him. Wants him to become an entertainment lawyer. Um... So Malapo was up at the podium, give him this big shout out, shout out to my son, KB, da 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 this, da 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 that. And he ain't even in earshot <laughs> to hear it, not to hear any of it, right? But after his speech, he asked Fix, um, like, where KB was? It's, it's something in here, it's, it's in the house, it's in the house, where KB was. And she's like, I don't know. Um, but then we saw the exchange between Malapo and Janet. They are very familiar with each other. He walked up to her and he was like, I didn't know you was pregnant. She's like, um, yeah, I am. Okay, so that means you ain't seen her in a long time. And I'm thinking, is it his baby? You know, is it your baby, Malabo? Why are you worried about whether or not Janet pregnant? Um, but she like, you know, it's not going to stop me from doing my job. He snatched her up real close like he said and make sure it does it. What job you doing? So you working for Malabo. I knew something was shady with you lady. We all knew it. We saw the signs. Oh sneaky dicky women. What you doing for Malabo? What is your job? Okay. Well Pauline Oh y'all I ran out of notes. I didn't write no more notes. So this really gonna be all memory. Pauline and Fitz they go over there to the copper and they found his place. At first, he didn't want to talk to them. 
um, the first petite that he didn't know what they was talking about, that he was wrong. And Pauline is like, nah, bro, you was the one that was getting too close. You had all the information. This, that, and the third. So she started telling him what she knew. He perked up. He's like, oh, so you little know a little bit more than what I thought you knew. You really in deep. So let me connect the dots for you, ma'am. Okay. Let me tell you everything that's everything. Okay, we finna do that for you. So, that's where they at now. Pauline is sitting down there with Koopman. Koopman is finna give her all the information that she needs to help connect these dots. Hopefully, we figure out who the heck Janet really is and what her job is supposed to be. And maybe it's just to stop getting Pauline the nosing around. But we already know that Fix is on the other end now. I'm finna start looking into her parents. We know this, right? We know this. And at the end... Um, I, I don't even know how significant this is, but KB came home and all his studio equipment was gone. Daddy cleared it out. And, you know, KB was like, I thought you supported me. I thought you would know. He said, yeah, I support you, but you're going to have to get there like everybody else. You're going to have to work hard for what you want. I've made it too easy on you. I've given you everything. I gave you a studio, gave you time. This and that. I'm saying, let you do anything you want to do. But if this is what you want to do, you're going to have to hustle and hustle hard for it. Okay. That's the only way I can show you how much I support you. By making you work for it. Making you understand that this is not a privilege. This ain't a game. This ain't a game, son. This ain't a game. I still don't think this is a son either. I'm just saying. But I, I wonder, y'all let me know if y'all thought about it at all. Without telling me the end of the season. What does Janet's baby have to do with this? I mean, they are in a baby selling racketeer scheme. So maybe they need to sell hers too. Are they still selling babies at this point in time? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all let me know. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for being patient. Thank y'all for coming back and watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel. Please feel free to do so. Turn on your notification bell so that way you will know when I actually drop videos and put them up on the, on the channel. I'm going to be dropping videos all weekend trying to catch up on stuff that I've missed. Um, I have a new membership to the, on the channel. Members are going to start getting videos earlier than regular subscribers starting in January. Um, with commercial free because you're already paying for a membership. And then subscribers will get theirs, you know. Probably about an hour later or something like that. I haven't figured out all the time yet. I haven't figured out the time. Maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes maybe just be enough. My videos ain't longer than 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anyhow. So, that's it, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And I'm going to continue on with episodes 4, 5, and 6. I think it's only 6 episodes this season. And wrap, and wrap up this season. Um, If you're interested, I am going to finish our Queen Sugar as well. Um, Bunny Heist story last Friday so I'll be back with Money Heist and I am going to be doing Sex in the City as well I know that started already they already put two episodes out so I'm going to be playing catch up I think I'm going to catch up on Insecure as well I'm not sure about that one it wasn't holding me I only watched one episode but it wasn't holding me but anyway y'all let me know see y'all in the comment section peace